These six LEGO Speed Champions need some fixing up. From left to right, I'm gonna put more work into each car. Be sure to stick around to the end because I gotta fix up a lot of this constant egg yesco, including this messed up rear. First, let's take a look at the Lamborghini Vision V12. This looks like both an alligator and a spaceship. I wanna get rid of all the studs revealed on this car. There's four in the front and four in the back. The only issue is there's these curved tiles on the back that keep you from putting a smooth stud there. So I'll modify the back of the car a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think studs are bad, like the ones at the front right after the nose look just fine. But I like to remove any of the subtle ones, like these ones at the back and the ones in the front right by the fender. And my side modifications are going quite smoothly and I don't think it's gonna stick out too much. And there you go, finished. It's so subtle you hardly even notice. Now this next one's even easier than the Lamborghini. I just wanna change out these black stud parts on the back of my LaFerrari. And I don't blame them for being there. This car is a custom LaFerrari built from the same pieces as the Ferrari 812. Now you wanna see a magic trick? Watch those two top pieces right here and I'm gonna make them disappear. And there we go. I love all these little subtle details you can do to make your cars look even cooler and cleaner. Now let's spice up the Pagani Utopia. If you watch like maybe more than one video on this channel, you know I love this car. But my issue is Paganis have elegant interiors and this one is lacking. Like what's going on with the floor here? It's just Lego brick. So let's change that. I surprisingly own very few pieces that have the same color of the interior. So I'm gonna have to go with these square ones and put them in the Pagani. Much better. Ferrari F40? No, Maserati MC20. This car was also built from the same pieces as the Ferrari F40, so all I'm gonna do is fix up these stud parts in the front. All right, now let's facelift this guy. It's crazy how much you can do with just a few pieces. And there you go, the Maserati MC20 is looking a little more ferocious. Now let's get to the next car. Probably the most underrated LEGO Speed Champions is the Aston Martin safety car. And it's severely limited by that giant flashing light on the top of it. So let's take that off. And this part seems to give me a hard time every time I try to modify this car. And there you go, I got it. It already looks so much better. Now let's get that wing off. I gotta get these black pieces off as well. So time for some off-camera bricks and kits engineering. And there we go, finished. The car is a clean green machine. The Konseneg Yesco. Man, this car has presence. But there's an issue. It's a bit chunky. And I think it has to do with this giant back wing. Now, I want this video to be about giving and not taking away, but I think the car would look better without it, so let's get rid of it. And that's why I have the second model, just in case things go wrong. So let's do the dirty work of taking that wing off. Wow, this car's got a lot of air now. It can finally breathe, and it doesn't look too bad. I feel like I was worried it would look like half a car, like it was just chopped off back there, but I think with some extra work, we can make it look even better. Ideally, we raise the middle and smooth out those side parts. That went quicker and smoother than I actually thought, and I think it looks good. It opens the car up way more, and now it doesn't feel suppressed like the normal Yesco does. You can see it here, chunky and free. If you want to see me build cars instead of take them apart, check out this video right here.